Watch it. Sorry. Excuse me. Pardon me. Don't want to be late. Hi. I'm Prudence. Hi. Prudence. I really love your work. I... Sorry. Big interview. Excuse me, but do you know where I could find Brad's magazine? In the trash? And I like keep mine in a secret drawer, so no one knows I read it. <gasps> you read Brad's magazine? <gasps> like, how did you know? You've been spying on me! Haven't. How? Oh, haven't. Never mind. Haven't. haven't. There it is. Haven't. Thanks. Have, 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 have. Hi, I'm Prudence, and might I say, oh, I can't Where find I anything wear? around here. Oh, so stuff, oh my. Oh, yeah, that totally looks good. It so matches. <laughs> Where's my new CD? I'm supposed to review it. Which is better for a lunch date? Hot Hot or Basic Hot? Has anyone seen the phone number to that new vegan restaurant? I what can't find anything. Can, 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 can someone, someone answer, answer the phone? phone? <laughs> Got it. I recommend track seven. It's awesome. <laughs> Brad's magazine, can you hold? Thanks. Brad's magazine, hold please. Thank you. That was amazing. I believe this might be the phone number for the restaurant you're looking for. Go with the black. Simple but stylish. Who are you? I'm Prudence. I'm here about the ad for the office assistant, the job interview. That was your interview. You're hired! Ah, I've got the job? Oh, this is really neat. Waxing bill, waxing bill, package from Tahiti, waxing bill. Ooh, this one's like a letter from an old boyfriend. Dearest Berdeen, how I miss the way the sunlight plays upon the bulging veins in your eyeballs. What's going on here? Uh, Berdeen, we were j -j just... Uh, we were just about to give you the latest fashion report. Seersucker is still out. <coughs> Way out! But velour is coming back, like, softer and more velour -y than ever. I already know the fashion news, you twin insects. Tell me what's going on next door. Tell me what the brats are up to. They interviewed a new assistant. Boring. Seems like some farm girl. Maybe she'll milk their chickens. You are like such a bird brain. She can't milk their chickens because they like don't have any. Duh. Hey, what are you a new assistant, eh? Good for the brats. In fact, I think a new assistant is an excellent idea. You mean like you might hire an assistant too? Why would you want uh three assistants? I won't have three assistants. Now go fetch Royale his morning yappuccino, or else! Teen heartthrobs file under T and H, cross-reference with C for cute, W for way cute, and U for ultra mega cute tastic. Personal context file under C and cross-reference under. Hmm. Prudent? <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were there. I'm such a dope. I'll pick these up in a jiffy. Hey, it's okay. I was just gonna say how you really saved us today. You're a class act. And one proficient professional. Oh, thank you, Brett. Uh, ma'ams. Ma'ams? Ew. First names only. When you work with the Bratz, you're part of the Bratz family. Sorry, it's just... Well, I'm from a small town, and this is all sort of overwhelming, I guess. I just never know what to expect next. Good news, everyone. The score is about to be Bratz 379, Birdine 0. You got it? Tell us you got it. I got the exclusive! Ah! Oh, Way that's to amazing. go, Sasha. You are the best. <laughs> An exclusive what? Um... It's okay, Bunny Boo. You can tell Prudence. She's in the Bratz family. Okay, but before I say anything else, Prudence, you have to swear you won't tell a soul. Girls, I think it's time for the Bratz Oath of Secrecy. 
Do you, Prudence, solemnly swear to uphold all that is good and trendy in the fashion world, to follow your own fashion sense, and to keep secrets secret? I do. <laughs> yes! Evan Moles is leaving his band. Bass is loaded. He's going solo and I'm getting the whole story. Bass is loaded and Evan is out. Evan Moles never gives interviews. Now all we've got to do is keep this secret from you-know-who. Who's you-know-who? Burdeen. She's the publisher of Your Thing magazine. Which is definitely not our thing. Is she really that bad? <laughs> It. Observe. Oh! I, like, couldn't hear a thing. Me neither. The door's too thick. It was her idea. Boo! Ah! Ah! They work for Birdie. She'll do anything to learn every secret we have. And even the ones we don't have. I had no idea this business was so... Uh, cutthroat. Oh, you better believe it. But enough about that. Sasha Scoop calls for a celebration. Juice bar! <laughs> Come on, join us. But really, I wouldn't. Couldn't? Shouldn't. We don't know the meaning of those words. Let's go. The files. Be right there. You better. And lock the door behind you. Oh, I'll lock the door. After all, in this cutthroat business, there's no telling who might worm their way into the precious brat's office. So, I decided to leave my little town and take the chance of my dreams to work for a fashion magazine. Only, I'm afraid in the city I don't always know how to act. Hold that thought. H-O-T-D straight ahead. H-O-T-D. Hunk of the day! Which one of us is new in town? And needs to meet people. Me? Oh, no, I couldn't. I mean, I'm terrible at talking to guys. Not anymore. Thanks to modern technology. Bingo! Archaeology. Lucky you, he's got a brain. Try this. Hi! I couldn't help noticing that you're reading an archaeology book. Which do you prefer? Egyptian pyramids or Mayan pyramids? You guys make it sound so easy. All it takes is practice. Hi! I, I, so, I've got a... A shirt? Iced tea? Food in my teeth? That. We can't decide, like, which one of us is way hotter. I say it's me, and she says nothing interesting ever. Uh, sorry, girls. I've got to run. Fools! What do you think you're doing? Like, picking up a total hot bucket. Duh! And you call us dodos. Don't you work for Burdine? Surely you know who I am. The lady who axes Burdine's back? Oh, uh, we, like, got all your bells. Prudence, are these girls giving you a hard time? Oh, shucks. It's okay. No one messes with our girl. Look, there goes that guy. And he's selling discount shoes. Our two favorite things. Get out of my way. I saw first. I totally get it. Weevils. Gotta love them. No, no you don't. don't. Thanks for getting rid of them. So, maybe we should get back to work? Uh, uh, uh. We're not giving up on you that easily. This is our male mannequin. We use him for fashion design. But today, he's Practice Pete, the guy you want to date. You have two minutes to get him to say yes. Go. Uh, happy. Bad idea. All you need is a little more confidence. And maybe a little less velocity. I don't even understand why you're trying to help me. 
It's the work that counts, right? Some things are more important than work, Prudence, like helping a friend. You got it. Good news, the interview is on. Bad news, Evan's manager wants to have the interview here. But if Birdine or the Tweed will see him, there goes our exclusive. We need to keep extra quiet about this. Brat's promise? Promise! Oh, I promise. Of course. Okay, we like promise. And you better keep your promise. I didn't tell you about my plan earlier because neither of you knows how to stay quiet. How come you have that grass skirt? I'm getting ready for Tahiti and my new life of relaxation, which starts tomorrow when I retire from your thing. Once a dreamer, yeah. Once you have a dream, yeah. You can be a believer, oh. You gotta just believe. Oh, come on now, don't be afraid. Do what you feel, just know inside, yeah. You gotta be you and what you do, listen to your heart. You gotta be you and let everyone be who they are. What makes you different is what makes you special too. You know what to do to yourself, be true. Cause you gotta be, you gotta be you. Yeah, I go on tour next month, mostly small clubs. How are the other guys in the band reacting? They're cool with it. Great, I think that's all my questions. Prudence, do you have anything? <gasps> Me? Uh. Have you decided on a look yet? Well, I guess the same thing I usually wear. What do you think? Well, it's just that, wouldn't you want to do something a bit different? Like, make a statement. Something that says, I'm the same Evan Moles, but now I'm on my own. Whoa, that's deep. You got a point. Smart girl. To Prudence! Working for you guys has been... I can't tell you how great it's been. I feel so much more confident, and... I asked Evan Moles a question. It'll be in the magazine, with your name. You're giving me credit? I don't know what to say. Say, hi, handsome. H-O-T-D is back. Perfect. Now take that Evan Moles attitude and get over there. Hi. I couldn't help but notice the book you're reading, Archaeology. Yeah, it's a little hobby of mine. I'm true. Our little office assistant is all grown up. I had a good feeling about her the moment she walked through our door. Finished. Base is loaded and Evan is out is good to go. We'll proof it tomorrow and slot it in the next issue. Yasmin and I are off to see Evan at his secret recording session. How about you, Prudence? Thanks, but I've just got some things to take care of. Sure, we understand. A girl does like her privacy now and then. Thanks, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Now that was one wicked session. I've got to add some of those hot lyrics to the interview. Hey, look, it's Prudence. What's she doing here so late? A rendezvous with H-O-T-D? At the office? That's kind of weird. And where is she going? Hmm. Let's check it out. Ew, the alley? Talk about a cheap date. Look, someone's coming. my helpful brat's assistant. It's Bertine. Do you have the disc? It's right here. Excellent. My exclusive interview with Evan Moles, procured by my own little mole. What are they doing? And come tomorrow, the new editor of Your Thing magazine. Hop in, Prudy. My interview! She 
betrayed us! Oh, I can't believe it! I just cannot believe it! I was her friend! She was my friend! Now everyone will think Burdine got the interview instead of us! Base is loaded, Brett's out. Hi, girls. Who wants fresh bagels? I've had such a night, you will not believe it. Not your version of it, we won't. We know you gave the interview to Burdine. No, you've got it all wrong. I... trust me, I know what you must be thinking, but I did the right thing. You did not do the right thing. You're wasting your breath and our time. There's the door. Try to let it hit you on the way out. Guys, I... You're fired! <laughs> what now? Oh, great. Tweedle devious and Tweedle dumb. Look what I've got, Casey. Why, whatever is that, Kirsty? It's the hot off the press new issue of your thing. Oh, I hear there's an exclusive interview with Evan Moles inside. One for you, and one for you, and one for you. Oh, yes, I can't forget about you. Please try. Now get out! Like happy reading! <laughs> oh, that is good! Man, that's good! How can you be laughing? We lost our scoop! Listen to this! Evan wept with joyous pride as he announced that he's having an alien's baby. Say what? I like to fly through space on my glittery fruit bat, says Evan. This isn't my interview with Evan. It's not even a real interview. Ah! What was that? The ghost of the murdered hyena bride. More like Burdine just read her own story. <gasps> Please, you ain't got to hide us. Why should we do that? <sighs> because we need hiding! This means that Prudence didn't set us up. She set up Burdine. And we yelled at her. She's giving up on her dream. We gotta stop her. Chloe, you check the train station. Yaz, check the bus depot. Jane, you check the... Limousine? Oh, uh, hi, guys. Prudence. We know you didn't really betray us, but apparently that's about all we know. I was about to tell you everything when I came in the office. You see... There you are, you traitor! Wait till I tell your mother about this! Burdine knows your mom? Burdine is my mom's sister. <gasps> Ew! That means you're... Burdine's niece? You poor, poor girl. Finally, I save enough to retire to Tahiti. Your thing was yours. All you had to do was prove yourself by betraying the brats. Sorry, Aunt Berdeen, but I just couldn't do it. My dear nasty backstabbing little Prudy. How did you go so wrong? The only reason I ever was a backstabber is everyone else in the family is a backstabber. It's all I ever knew. But these guys... They were so cool to me. They made me a part of their family. I didn't have to prove myself to them. They just accepted me. Berdine Maxwell, I'm an attorney for Evan Moles. In light of your magazine's false interview, Mr. Moles is suing you for $1.3 million. Oh! My savings! My retirement! Ugh. Come here, you twittering twin nitwits! We've got a magazine to run! What about you, Prudence? You don't have to leave. You could keep working for us. I think I'd like that. Someday. But I just accepted another offer. Hey, girls. Oh, crazy thing. I stopped off for some tacos and ran into your friend Prudence. He wants me to consult on wardrobe for his tour. Prudence, wow, congratulations. congratulations! Prudence, that's right on, girl! Hey, to make up for it, I'll let you guys publish the pictures. A tour exclusive. Deal. 
We're stuck with Bardeen again, and we don't have an assistant. But at least we still have our interview. And a great new friend. And really, what more could we want? Hello? Don't believe it. You better believe it, because it's right here in black and white. Today, Styles High will receive a surprise visit from Portia, host of Hanging with Hot Diggity Hollywood Hotties. Why? She interviews movie stars, not students. It's for a new show, Teens Talk and Teen Talk with Teens. She's looking for a star for her first episode. She'll pick me. I know she'll pick me. She'll introduce me to a famous director, and he'll cast me in Sarcophagus 5, The Mummy's Uncle, with Harrison Harrison Jr., and then Harrison and I will date, and he'll propose, and we'll live glamorously ever after with our three children and five dogs in a beautiful chateau in France. Whoa, Earth to Angel. Get a hold of yourself. There are tons of students at this school, Chloe. It's a thousand to one shot that one of us will get picked. It could happen. <sighs> you are way too gullible, Chloe. I am not. And too defensive. Nuh-uh. See what I mean? Defensive. Too defensive and gullible for your own good. Whoa, back off. Enough with the criticism already. No need to get bent out of shape. Offering a little constructive criticism is what friends do. Guys, that hottie goddess from TV, Portia, She's right out in the hallway. Quick, how's my shirt? How's my hair? How's my cool dude composure? Oh! Hey, hey, fellow teens. Who is ready to talk? Oh, my gosh. It's really Portia. And her style and purse rat, Miss Mimi. I don't suppose anybody's heard about my all new show. Teens talk and teen talk with teens. We, we have. Well then, all I need to know is who's up for the wonderful world of celebrity? Portia, oh, Portia, you have your oh, 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 hey, Portia, yo, right here. Your How about you girls? I'm ready. I wouldn't turn you down. Well, I guess it's inconceivable you'd pick me. Not out of all the thousands of students in our school. Sweetie, you are perfect. Gorgeous, humble, you're as TV real as they make them. What do you think, Wingo? Huh? <laughs> Isn't he a hoot? Okay, then it's settled. We'll start shooting right after school. Yes! I'll forgive you. This is Chloe Board. And this is Chloe at dinner. Oh, Harrison, Harrison Jr., when you look into my eyes like that, I do wish you'd chew with your mouth closed. <laughs> <laughs> you are all over the star thing, Angel. That's for sure. Just remember, this is only one episode. And Portia says she's looking for a real teen, not a movie star. Yeah, that's right, Chloe. Remember who you are. <clears throat> all right, Chloe, time for the all new you. Uh huh? <laughs> I'm just kidding, sweetie. Are you ready to get started? Readier than ever. I've got to tell you, Portia, this really is a dream come true. From the moment I saw you, I had a feeling you were bound for stardom. So what do I do? What do I wear? What do I say? Oh, honey, don't worry. It'll be easy. In this show, all you need to do is go through your regular boring things you do in your life, and Wingo will get it all on camera. I guess we should leave now so you two can start shooting. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> a big part of Chloe's life is her friends, right? You bet it is. I'll tape each of you doing things with your best friend, Chloe. That is amazing. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Awesome. Don't be a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'll be a laugh, all right. And the laugh will be on them. You better get all this on tape, Wingo. All of it. Or you're fired. Comprende? Well, folks, here we are at the Stylesville Mall, where, like any healthy teenage girls, Chloe and Jade love to shop. What'd you find so far, ladies? 
How about this top and shorts? Looks like Chloe scored. Now let's see what Jade came up with. I found this top in Glamwear and matched it with this skirt from Kickback Casual. Sweet! Jade is the mix and match champion. <laughs> I can see. Hey, let's check out shoes. I'm on it. By the way, Jade, that outfit you picked? I wouldn't even put it on a monkey. Say what? Oh, it's okay, sweetie. Some of us are born to know fashion, and some of us, you know, aren't. Well, she's certainly full of herself. We're here at the juice bar where Chloe and her friend Yasmin have whipped up their own smoothie sensations. Hmm, your smoothie looks yummy, Chloe. Mind making one for me? You got it. Give me that. Are you trying to kill me? This tastes like a, a dumpster. Uh -huh. Forget the smoothies, plain Jane. Stick with something you know. Like bad makeup? Good makeup. Bad makeup. Dreamboat? Titanic. Class dismissed. Well, she is the rudest, most stuck-up girl I've met. And what better way for an average teen to top off a day than by working at her own magazine? What you working on, Sasha? Only the most exclusive interview of my career. Folk punk artist Omen Sunshine. <laughs> What's with the greasy napkin? These are the original lyrics to worship all the creatures. Omen wrote them at the Burger Shack. You girls are off the hook. <laughs> Say, Chloe, want to show me how the magazine gets printed? I bet that'd be something to see. Sure. The printers are downstairs. I'll go check if they're cool with it. <gasps> Stop her! Oh, you don't want to stop her now. She's making a place to tinkle. But that napkin's priceless. Ew. Oopsie. Not anymore. Oh, well, Mimi's contribution will probably be the best part of your interview. <laughs> oh, what is with that girl? One minute she's all nice and nice, next she's the biggest witch ever. She stuck her tongue out at me in the hallway. Well, she's completely ignored me. That girl is really something. Oh, she's something all right. Something nasty, something rude, and something I'm way too classy to say out loud. I don't get it. What's to get? She's a spoiled jerk. With no taste in men. Well, we've got to talk to Chloe. But Chloe is so happy. And what if this really is her big break? I don't want to mess that up. I know what you mean, Cool Cat. But still, I've got a bad feeling about this girl. The least we can do is warn her. Why, Chloe, sweetie, there you are. The printer say it's cool to visit. Are you ready? You know what? Wingo tells me he's got plenty of great shots for today. Why don't you and me just take a little break while he cuts it all together? Oh, okay. And Chloe, <laughs> I was going to make this a surprise, but watching you in action today, the way you just light up in front of the camera, I have decided to recommend you for your own show. My what? You are perfect, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. But shh, 
This is our little secret, okay? <laughs> Drop by my mobile studio in an hour. By then, I'll have an answer from the network, okay? Ciao. This really is a dream come true. Guys, has this or has this not been the most awesome day ever? Yeah, awesome. Yeah, hey, you bet. Sure thing, Angel. I've had better. What's the matter? Your friend Portia. That's what's the matter. What about her? Listen, Angel, we're a little concerned about her. Or, more specifically, about you. Me? What are you talking about? I'm having the time of my life. We know, and we really don't want to bring you down, but... But someone's got to have your back. You're just so impressionable, and... Oh, great. Here we go again. You should listen to your friends, Angel. Just keep your eyes open, okay? For what? Hollywood can have a very strange effect on people. They get famous, and they change. They forget what it's like to be decent. And? And just watch out, that's all. Sure, whatever you say. I'll watch out. Is it ready? Did you cut in my fake question shots? Hurry up, you slacker buffoon. She'll be here any... Oh! Uh, yes, uh... No, was I right or was I right? Uh, oh, yes, I know. Yeah, I'll tell her, I'll tell her. Oh, she'll be thrilled, yes. I'll tell her right away. <gasps> Chloe, great news! I just got off the phone with the network. We beamed them some footage, and they agree. You are the next best thing on TV. I am? So they're giving you your own show. <gasps> That's so totally cool. Yes, it is. But I'm afraid I have some news that's not quite so cool. <sighs> have a seat, sweetie. I, uh, didn't tell you about this earlier because I thought it might spoil your fun. But I thought it might be neat to interview your friends, you know, just see what they thought of your stardom and, well, um, have a look. So, Jade, now that we have a moment alone, what do you think of Chloe's big break on TV? Well, she's certainly full of herself. Huh? So, Jade, I've noticed you making an awful lot of sour faces behind Chloe's back. Much like this. <laughs> what gives? She is the rudest, most stuck-up girl I've met. Golly, strong words indeed. She said that? Sasha, I thought you girls would be happy for Chloe, but you all keep trash-talking her. Why? One minute she's all nicey-nice, next she's the biggest witch ever! Yeah, ouch. But why would they say those things? Oh, Chloe, honey, it is a sad fact of life that when one friend is singled out for stardom, her friends get jealous. I know it hurts, but the camera doesn't lie. Everyone was acting strangely back at the office. Sasha said something about Hollywood changing people. <gasps> she meant me! They resent you, Chloe. Just you watch. They'll start criticizing you. Oh, I am worried for you, Chloe. You are such a fantastic, a special, special girl. And this is your chance of a lifetime. If your friends really care about you, they'd be happy for you. But what if they're not? I tell you what, honey. Go home. Let your friends cool off. Tomorrow morning, we'll meet at that juice bar. Tell them your big news and see what happens. Okay. If you think that's best. Chloe, I know what's best. You're such a good friend. Thanks. Load up your camera, Wingo, because tomorrow the real show starts, and I don't want to miss a thing. Oh, wait a minute. What am I supposed to wear? And then my plan will pay off. Naive little Chloe's bogus dreams of stardom will bring out the claws, and the brats will break up on TV! <laughs> oh, <it's so> good. <laughs> Get to work, you shiftless meathead! <clears throat> the network's not paying you to attract flies! Well, go on! Get to it!
Here she comes, Wingo. Wish me luck. <sighs> Why, Wingo, sweetie, you're early. I've been looking all over for you. Girl discovered in Stylesville. Rockets to stardom. Coming up next, the moment she tells her friends. How are you feeling? A little nervous, but, you know, I think I'll be okay. Just as long as I stand up for myself. Well, yeah. It's just your dream on the line. Now, superstar, make your entrance! Hey, hey, fellow teens! Who is ready for Chloe? Oh, hey, Chloe! What's with the shades and the purse rat? Chloe has some awesome news for you, don't you, Chloe? That's right, it's official. They're giving me my own show! I'm going to Hollywood! You are? That's kind of sudden, is it not? Aha! Uh -huh. Surely you believe in your Chloe more than that! Well, no. <gasps> so you don't believe in Chloe? That's not what I was saying! <gasps> what were you saying, Sasha? Come on, Chloe! You remember what I tried to tell you yesterday? How sometimes people get famous and they... They forget how to be nice? Well, news flash! I'm not the mean one. All of you are! I know what you've been saying about me behind my back. We haven't said anything! Now you insult my intelligence by lying! <gasps> lying? And to think it's because you're jealous! Okay, now you're being obnoxious! So, I mean, I'm obnoxious, and lest we forget, I jump to conclusions, I'm gullible, and I'm defensive! As a matter of fact, you are! <laughs> oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, oh, hey, yes! Yes! Portia is the only one who cares about me. She builds me up when you guys knock me down. If you're not going to support my dreams, then you're not the friend I thought you were. Well, maybe I'm not then. Me neither. You're on your own. Fine! <laughs> and cut! <laughs> Poor Chloe. It'll all be worth it, right? Of course it will, sweetie. For me, anyway. You ridiculous girl. <clears throat> Ouch! Surely you didn't really believe I would recommend you to the network. <gasps> you were <gasps> lying? Bingo! I've made a career out of lying. All these years doing stories about happy people with happy lives and their happy, happy friends. Aren't you ever happy? Don't you have any friends? No and no! Which is how I knew happy little people like you were so totally bogus. So I came up with a new series. One that would show how fake and rotten friendships really are. I call it Cats! Meow. And who better to target for their first cat fight than the preciously phony foursome, the Brats? <laughs> so good. <laughs> brats? Somebody call our names? Uh huh? You are are gonna be a star someday, Chloe. That was some of the best acting I've ever seen. You guys weren't half bad yourselves. <laughs> what are you talking about? Your friendship's in ruins! You threw smoothies at each other! <laughs> I don't know what you're all up to, but I don't care! I got it all on tape! You clown, what are you still taping? I said cut! Turn it off! Well, Portia, it's like this. I, much like you, never knew the meaning of true friendship, hence my acceptance of your abuse. He talks. However, Chloe, having witnessed that abuse, approached me yesterday with concern about my welfare. I was truly moved. So moved, in fact, that I agreed to conspire with her to turn the tables and expose you for the heartless fraud you are. I bid you smile for your loyal audience. You ridiculous girl. You were lying? I've made a career out of lying. All these years doing stories about happy people with happy lives. Give me that camera, you techie loser! Give it to me! No! I'm Portia! I don't do humiliation! 
I do. <laughs> ruined. Everything is ruined. Well, Miss Benny, at least I still have you. No! Come back, Miss Baby! We belong together! And so ends my first episode of Keeping It Real, where I discovered how to keep it real and got my own show, thanks to my new buddies, the Brads. See you next week, and hey, keep it real. Sorry this didn't turn out to be the big break you always dreamed of, Angel. But don't you worry. Your time will come. Hopefully next time I'll handle it better. Portia kept telling me I was perfect. I should have known. A real friend will tell you like it is. You mean like, uh, how hot I looked on TV? <laughs> uh, like how cool you were to help us out. <laughs> to friendship. Everybody there.